X-Men. We are here at the start of X-Men week. We are going to play an old X-Men game every day this week. And I am starting with probably one of the best. The X-Men arcade game. This arcade cabinet used to be everywhere in the 90s. I don't think you could trip and fall without landing on one. And rightly so, it is really good. This is the version from the PlayStation 3 online store. I got this a long time ago when it dropped. I don't remember when. From what I remember, it's pretty accurate to what the arcade cabinet was like, other than, you know, you don't use quarters, which is always kind of a problem for these arcade ports because a lot of the mechanics um, to keep you putting quarters in don't exist anymore, so you can abuse them, like using special moves. I forgot that this had online. Let's see if there is anyone waiting for a lobby in a 10-year-old remaster of a 30-year-old arcade game. Hello! Can anyone hear me? There's nothing there, sir. Shocker, there was not. So we will just be playing solo. Yeah, this cabinet was crazy. It had six players. If you've never seen it, it is gigantic. Uh, it was kind of awkward because two of the control sticks were like at a really weird angle on the side. It was very uncomfortable, but it was a blast to play. Let's just put it on normal since, I mean, we probably have unlimited continues anyway, right? Uh, we could set it to Japanese or USA. We're just going to go with good old, good old USA because the translation is incredible. Uh, six player cabinet, sure. Wait, wait. That's weird. So if you pick four players, it's not in widescreen, but the six player cabinet is. That's odd. Okay, so you can choose from Colossus, Wolverine, Storm, Nightcrawler, D D Dazzler. Bet she was everyone's number one pick. Cyclops. Uh, my favorite is Colossus. He's my favorite X-Man. So I usually pick him or the Wolverine, which this is like peak Wolverine costume. This brown one and the yellow one. Chef's kiss. But we're gonna start with Colossus and then maybe we'll switch around while we, while we play. In the 21st century, evil mutants led by Magneto aim to destroy the world. Humans could do nothing against the power of the evil mutant. The only hope is X-Men. Come to me, my X-Men. Go and save the city. It is widescreen, but it has ugly bars on the screen. Okay, we can punch, we can jump. Um, and we can do that special move, but I remember it hurts us. What button is that? It is... It's triangle. And we get to let out that huge roar that Colossus does. I love it. Oh, we can ground pound. How do we how do we grab? How do we Oh, okay, we kinda we gotta move into him here. I used to just dump quarters into this game constantly. But see, that's how they get you because you use your special move and it drains your health like so and then uh you got to you got to put more quarters in I mean I I love I love arcades I loved them as a kid they're pretty much non-existent anymore but they were such a scam right I mean right we have one bar of health if we use our Special, does it just kill us? It doesn't. Interesting. So if we have no health, can we just Oh, we can't use it anymore. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm I'm getting I'm I am getting destroyed. And now I'm not. And there goes a quarter, right? Who is this? Oh. Boss time. <laughs> Get it? Because I use fire. Oh, 90s X-Men was peak X-Men. You can't convince me otherwise. 
Because this guy isn't really putting a much of a fight, is he? Oh, there we go. He got he got me. But then I waste a quarter. Well, that was like the easiest boss ever. You are granted a special mutant power. Note that mutant power can be something, something. Oh, I think it, maybe it limits how many times you can use your, your mutant power for this port. Let me see, let me see. No, I thought maybe that's what those uh, things were, but it wasn't. Whoa, how did I, how did I do the yeet move? <laughs> he just, just yeeted that sentinel guy. I'm trying to think of how far I could usually get. I did actually beat this in the arcade once. Um, it took me a lot, a lot of money. Um, I was playing mostly by myself. I had some like random dudes come up and like they, they dropped in and helped out for a while. Uh, I got all the way to Magneto and I beat him. Um, but I think I typically would only get to like the blob guy, maybe a little bit past him, which I think is. Maybe the end of this level or the next one? Just hit him right in the dick. Oh, we got fire coming out of the fork. Does it hurt them? Oh, it does. Oh, that's like some Turtles in Time shit right there. In fact, I'm pretty sure this exact... This exact level, like, with the flames and, like, kind of the background is in one of the Ninja Turtle, uh games. It might be the arcade game or Turtles in Time. One thing that never made sense to me is Colossus is made out of like, you know, steel or whatever when he uh, transforms. So these guys like coming up and punching him, that, that ain't gonna do nothing, right? I mean, he's just gonna be like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. That was totally unnecessary, but I did it anyway. Because it it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun to have a everything dies button. Ooh, got me. Uh, I do want to continue. Oh, I have to be Colossus though. Oh, I wanted to switch. What? Oh, okay. Well, this seems like probably a good time to just do this, right? See, that's what sucks about these arcade ports, is that you can just do that as many times as you want with no consequence. So... But they're still fun to just go back, kind of remember the good old days of sitting at Pizza Hut waiting for your pizza playing some X-Men. I mean, they had this arcade cabinet everywhere in my small town, which was not large. And we had at least four of these. There was one at the movie theater, one at a Pizza Hut. Nothing moves the blob. The blob. There was one at the mall in the arcade. And there was one more. What am I? What am I forgetting? Oh, we got him! Oh shit! He was just sitting there waiting for me to punch. Oh, okay. Ow! Ow! This guy, he's way harder than the fire dude. That's why you just do that and then just wail on his face. Okay. That was, a, that, was a little, that was a little cheap. Okay, so the first boss is a give me. They're like, you know, hey. Is there a way to switch? That does the counter. I don't think there is. Whoa. Nice try. Oh, did we... No way we stun lock him here, right? Nope, he got out of it. I thought. 
Nothing. And then he just yeets us across the room. Got him. Here, granted special mutant power. Mutant power can be used only when the energy indicator is at three or less. We have been taken by Magneto. Oh. However, we had time to locate their base on Island M. Destroy it. So the little power orb things let you use your special when you don't have enough health to do it. Okay. Oh, I remember the, the lizard men. No, well, you can't grab the lizard guys. They didn't want to animate grabbing them, I guess. So they... Like, I can grab that dude. But lizard man, he, he ain't having none of it. Still, can, can still punch him in the dick, though. It's a trap. Oh, okay. All right, let's just let's just yell those away. What exactly is Colossus doing there when uh, that energy shoots out? How does how does that work? Because I know his power is making his uh, skin metal, but. How exactly does the explosion work? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, we're, we're just gonna get rid of that. Shit. Colossus is really slow. I mean, obviously. I wonder how much faster the other characters are. I do not remember. We are going to take a look after this run is done. I'm going to go back through and uh, showcase the other characters off real quick. Yeah, this level used to just sap your quarters. These lizard guys are just a pain. You can't grab them. They jump halfway across the screen. You got guys shooting plasma beams at you. You got tail whips coming everywhere. <laughs> welcome to die. <laughs> welcome to die. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't fix that in this in this release. So many games from back then tried to fix their awful translations and it just, it makes it worse. Like the uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Wendigo! Release, it fixes the bad dialogue and it actually makes it worse. The bad translation is just part of the charm. Okay, so who is this dude? I mean, I would consider myself a casual X-Men fan. I'm not like, I don't read comics. I mean, I used to watch the show as a kid, watch the movies and stuff, which I know aren't usually accurate to the source material, but I don't know who this dude is. Yeah, don't like that, do you? Okay, you just yeeted, yeeted me across the floor. Think, whoop. I was gonna say, it seems like you can just mash the attack button. Sometimes they can't really do anything, but he still got me. I'm assuming his name is Wendigo, since he keeps yelling that. Oh, we got him. Look at that. You're granted special mutant power. Go and rescue Kitty from the cave. Okay. The lineup in this game is uh, pretty good. You get Wolverine, Cyclops. The only one that seems out of place is like Dazzler. But I don't know how popular she was in the 90s. I feel like she was like more of a... Probably B tier X-Men. I... There's so many X-Men and there's like so many different levels of, you know, how much they participate. I feel like maybe Jean would have been a better choice than Dazzler, but maybe they felt like she would have been too similar to Storm. I, I don't know. Whoa, we got we got a dragon. We got a mechanical dragon. 
And he he's shooting sound. And I can't even I can't even use my special. I'm just getting wrecked here. There we go. Got him. That's good special use. Strategic special. Oh my god, look at how many Oh, there's so many guys. And now they're all gone. That's right. There goes a quarter. Oh, they don't make beat em ups like this anymore, do they? I'm trying to think of any, like, recent ones. I mean, there's some beat em ups, like M Mother Russia Bleeds and some other ones, but. Oh, I just. I feel like they don't make them with this much charm anymore. Wait, can't Kitty phase through walls and stuff? Isn't that her thing? So who is this guy? Oh! That was a little cheap. He grabbed me out of the air. Take that, Metal Man! And then he says, look who's talking. Shucks my metal ass across the screen. These, these, these special orbs, I might as well use them, right? As he throws me. Whoa! I think we got him. Thank you for that kitty. <laughs> Thank you for that, that advice. I was hitting the button, I swear. Oh my god. Okay. Wait for it to stop. There we go. Now. <laughs> I fell off the cliff. How did, how did I fall? Oh, okay. I got disconnected. What? So, the joys of modern gaming, because it, I guess, disconnected me from the PlayStation Network, it completely, like, closed out my game, which is just great. Luckily, I, uh, well, just disconnected it and, uh, got it to play that way, so hopefully that does not happen again doesn't really change much. Luckily, this game does have a level select, so you can just uh, choose what level you want to be on. So we are back here again. Getting destroyed by flamethrowers. But anyway, we were in the spot where I flew off the cliff. Let's see if we can knock one of these big guys off of there, huh? Uh-oh, he's trying to knock me off. Oh yeah, these guys are going. Look at that. Yep, look at that. Look at those punches that Colossus does. That last punch isn't even like a haymaker or anything. He just like pimp slaps whatever he's hitting. It's like an open hand slap. But I suppose when your hand's made out of metal, you can do that. Just the total disrespect as I punch this graboid thing in the face. Oh, well, that's not... Oh, you're welcoming me to die as well. The White Queen, huh? Who is the White Queen? Like, a lot of these older X-Men villains, you, you don't see too often in, like, popular X-Men stuff nowadays. Like, I have no idea who the White Queen is either. I knew who the Blob was... And I think, like, vaguely Pyro, but White Queen, who was also way easier than all the other ones. What is... Let's just put a stop to that. Why is there so many? There we go. The lizard dudes were probably the hardest thing we had to fight. 
and the fact that I... Oh, shit, there's a giant sentinel, okay. Wait, what? These guys. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just put a stop to that. Why were they riding inside of the sentinel? I was ragging on these guys and they just destroyed me. Oh. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. They're trying to get behind me too. Oh you. shit, Juggernaut! <sighs> yeah, it's the Juggernaut, bitch! And he just whipped my ass. But I came back. Why does he have a giant gun? He doesn't even need it. Oh, we got his helmet off. That's Juggernaut's weakness. Whenever he loses the helmet, you know he's he's, he's not gonna win. He's not gonna win. He has not used that gun once. What is the point? Oh, wow, okay. He, he used it once. That's a big boom. He was actually not that bad. Some of the bosses are really hard, and then some of them are... Nice job. Magneto is over there. Follow me. Wait. Why did Xavier just... <laughs> Oh, okay, because it was Mystique. You fell into our trap. It's like, why would Professor Xavier just show up and be like, Hey! <laughs> come on, come on in, guys! Glad you're here to rescue me. Let me let you in. Oh, oh shit, there's Pyro's everywhere! And he stunlocked me. Oh, dude, this is like... This is where they get all your quarters, right? They make the bosses like normal-ass enemies. Plus, your special moves seem to kill them instantly. But the punches don't really seem to be doing anything. Okay, yeah, you can punch them to death. It just takes a lot compared to just throwing in a quarter and instant killing them. Whoa. Hit the face. Colossus' is their game, pretty weak. Pretty weak. His air moves look really bad. Who are these dudes? Are these actual guys or are these just statues? This fight is fucking hard. Colossus. Okay, we got one weak. Hit him with the yell. Hit him with the yell. There we go. We got one of them. That's two. Nice. Oh. Oh, he's got... What? got eye lasers I'm trying to do this legit not not take damage got him look at that nice x-men x-men magneto is planning to attack earth from his asteroid base you must foil his plan before it's too late Go after the giant sentinel. Follow the giant. Back to the base. Nothing moves oh. the block. Oh, we, we're going double bosses here. Okay. And he just cheated me. 
Oh, triple bosses. Oh no. They're just like, hey, we're gonna give you a boss rush, but it's it's really gonna be a rush. Like you're fighting all of them at once. I, I get it, Wendigo. I get it. All right. All right let's just hit him with hit him with the yell, and then Wendigo hits us with the ye. White Queen coming up from behind. There we go. When it goes down, Blob yeets us into the White Queen. All right, Blob down. Ha! Ah. Ow. There we go. Oh, Juggernaut now and Big Robot Man. Oh, there's, there's Pro Professor Xavier. He just grabbed me out of the air. He didn't give a shit. There we go. Got his helmet off. Probably should try to get rid of Juggernaut first. He seems like the easier of the two damage. I am Magneto. You are nothing. Oh, I walked too far forward. Now I gotta fight Magneto too. So that's definitely a strategy, is to not make the screen go too far, right? Oh, no way. Oh, I thought we, thought we stun locked him. Thought we stun locked him. Okay, Metal Man's done. Magneto hitting us. He stun locked us with karate kicks. Got Bruce Lee Magneto over here. He's not using his powers, which is weird. Okay. Colossus. For a final boss, you think he would have like flashier moves, but he's just got a karate kick and like kind of a punch, and that's that's it. But I guess that's all he needs. Got him. Oh, it's Mystique. That's right. Who sounds exactly like the Alas, White Queen? That was Mystique, not Magneto. Magneto is in another place. Go, X-Men. Magneto is in another castle. Oh, there he is. I am Magneto, Master of Magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta you got work on that. You gotta work on your, your line there. That's probably the least intimidating thing. You are nothing. I am the master of magnet. Your fridge will fear its You are nothing. You are dead. You are dead. Because I am the master of magnet. X chicken. X chicken. Okay. That's a little. That's a little better. Use those blue orbs. Dead. You are dead. <laughs> dead. You are dead. Dead of X chicken. Got him, I think. He has a phase two? He has to, right? No, that's it. Magneto is defeated. X-Men succeed to rescue Professor and return to Earth with the victory. But still, the battle against the threats of evil just begins. Note, the game is not over yet. I'm pretty sure the game's over. I think it just restarts, but harder. Yeah, it just starts over harder. 
I'm assuming it's harder. Either that or it's, uh... Just starts over and lets you play till you run out of quarters again. All right, let's look at the other characters here. We got Wolverine, who just uh, does weird-looking punches. I don't know how those, how I feel about those. What's this? What's his special look like? Let's. Okay, he does just like a beam slashing attack thing. His jump is kind of cool though. He does. He like launches forward. And then he can do like a, a missile, a missile kick. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Storm. Who is she? She has like a staff or a rod or something. I'm not gonna lie, this Storm design, I'm not really feeling it. I like the one from the 90s with like the, the white robe and stuff and the cape. Um, what What is her special here? She just... She just throws out a tornado. Okay. I still think that probably Colossus is, is the best so far. Because it just kills half the screen. Um, her jump, she goes flying. And she can just do a kick. Okay. Uh, good old Nightcrawler. I forgot he was uh, in this, actually. But he he's a lot of fun. He can just zip all the way across the screen. And... Okay, that special is pretty dope. He just, like, takes out half, half the screen. Um, let's see, he can do that, and then he can just do a backflip, which seems pretty useless, actually. And then there's Cyclops, who is, like... The bo I know people like Cyclops, but he has to be the most boring of the X-Men. I've never liked him. Um, in X-Men 97, they made him, like, a little better. He's not completely insufferable, but... Um, he does kicks, he does punches. His special is, of course, the eye laser, which is not... Does it take out a bunch of people at once, or... Oh, I can't do it. I need... Kill me, quick. Let's see if it takes out a group of people. Yeah, okay, I mean, that's not too bad. Uh... Got the kick, and a, and a jump kick. And then we have Dazzler, who I feel like is probably... I don't know. I feel like it should be like Rogue or or Gambit in this spot, but I don't know. She's very 80s in her design too, and her special isn't bad. She takes out a pretty big chunk of the screen. Oh, she does like a Street Fighter like hurricane kick kind of thing. That's cool. And she also does a backflip, like Nightcrawler's, except hers is a lot higher up. Uh, all in all, not a bad choice to play as. That was cool. I don't know what that was, but that was cool. From what I remember, she had one of the end spots on the cabinet, so, like, you had to stand at a really, like, awkward angle to the screen, like, almost 90 degrees, and it kind of sucked. So no one ever picked her. And I can't remember who was on the other side. I think it might have been... Storm, but I don't remember. So that has been X-Men the Arcade Game. Uh, I loved this game growing up. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it's always great to go back and play it, even if it's not quite the same when you're not playing it on an arcade cabinet. Tomorrow, X-Men Week continues with another X-Men game. X-Men games all week long this week. Please like and subscribe if you want, and I will see you tomorrow with another Pyro masterpiece.